Hello. What's up? A Did I have a banana? Well, How I don't. You? I'm hungry. If I can have you take off your shoes. Yes, of course. How you doing, Carla? I'm good. How are you? I am terrific. I'm yelling because this was it. Can I leave this charging while we do this? Yeah. We're we're recording if you want to show your face right here. We're not live streaming, but hey, we're pretty much uh, live. Carla, what's up? Oh, look in Miami Fresh. Guys, look Ted Jones you. Comedy Show next Thursday. What's up, Carla? Okay, Pop in over up. here. Water? Look water you. for I you here. Cross-legged. I know you didn't see me pour the water, but I can assure you it's just water. You want to put on those headphones? Uh, I mean, see how you're standing? It's not, you know. <laughs> a little ready, party here ready on the pod. Ready for a good time, and I can blame someone else. All right. Goes on, and let's get the party ready. started. <laughs> right in there. I'm stripping. Hear yourself. I'm now gonna eat, can I eat a banana? On? Sure. On Ted Jones World? Yes. So, yeah. Potassium, we appreciate it. The whole table. I'm vegan, so I yeah. I stay eating fruit. Do, okay, can I take the... How, hold on. What do you want to do? do, do? However, you, however we can get you more comfortable. I'm not going to talk to you through the mirror. Well, I, yeah, I want you to get back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There Scooch we go. in there. Here we are. Yes, there you go. Okay, so Ted, like yeah. I'm the interviewer. What's up? Yes. So I, what can I do for you? I actually met you. In Miami. In Miami. Yes. Has your family seen you continuously do stand up or is it like once in a blue moon they come? Yeah, my mom has seen me before. She's like, that's actually really good. Because she doesn't Oh, watch. that's sweet. Yeah, I know. She, it's she's supportive. The first time that she was supportive because she's like... The fact that she even said that was actually okay. funny, you know what I mean? Like she didn't expect. But the th yeah, but that's also a compliment. Yeah, yeah you know no, what I mean? Well, so, she's a Colombian, she's a Hispanic okay, parent, so, so what, it's always uh, backhanded. Uh, so I was with one of my buddies this weekend and another one of my friends, and this one kid, he took off his shirt, and one of my other buddies was like, oh, you look better than I thought. And he made a big <laughs> deal of it. He was like, what do you mean I look better than yes. you thought? And I was like, well, I mean, look yes. at the positive here. Dude, you look better than he thought. I... Everyone was, uh, yeah, I, when I went home once, I was like, at the like, I felt the best I had ever looked in my life. Like, okay. I was working out all the time. I was Miami well. ready. Okay. Miami, I'm in a bikini. Let's I go. stay at my mom's house when I go home and I'm like looking in the mirror and I'm like, this is the best I've ever <laughs> looked and felt. And my mom's just staring at me and she goes, yeah, because you were starting to get a Pansa. And I'm like, Pansa's tummy. Oh, by she the said way. you were starting to get you one? Were, yeah, you were like, thank God. Yeah. Because <laughs> you were starting to look fat. Well, basically. but that's nice of her that she didn't mention it initially. I feel like some yeah. moms would have just like nipped it right there and wouldn't have let you figure it out by yourself. But no, you she did. She oh, did. she did yeah, tell you. She was like, Carla. Oh, she was like, well, thank God. You she's like, that. she's like, I was skinny my whole life. I just <laughs> got fat. Like okay. you, she's like, you can't be getting fat in your thirties. Right, right. <laughs> she's like, with these genetics, right, right. you can't like, there's no excuse. Stop. What's your ethnicity? Nationality? Uh, You're giving I'm, off a few, right? You ever get that? It's not a few. I give off a few. That's yeah. good because I like to think I'm ethnically ambiguous. Ambiguous, ambiguous yeah. Bit. Like, but I, yeah, I look white because of my green eyes. Um, mm -hmm. I always like to say I'm half hick, half spick. Okay, nice. That's, that's my, yeah. I'm. I'm <laughs> did you ever take? Yeah. This oh my god, eating a, eating a banana. Uh, did you ever take that twenty three of me? No. Do you know what I'm talking uh, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the my my brother actually like made a family tree. Like he was doing all the research. Uh -huh. and, like. I asked a few questions. I don't really know. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I feel like for the most part, though, your brother can just send you his and you don't have to spend the yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah. however much well, it he's is. Like I've really been weird. meaning to do that. He's weird about it. He's like, I'm not done yet. I'm like, just, yeah. Oh, he's getting real he's deep into it. He's one of those. He's, oh, yeah. He's like. Does he like, like star signs and stuff? No, no. He's just a. He's an interesting fellow. No, well, like, I, <laughs> I like to say I'm like a hybrid of both my brothers and they're both dorks. Okay. Like, are you they know, older than you? Yeah. What like, field are they in? Uh, one is a Merce and the other. But wait, did is that a real word? No. That's okay. why I'm like you. Don't, uh, okay. you don't I was need like, what the shit are you talking about? Like, a, I was thinking purse. I'm actually not Merce. gonna eat this. I'm just gonna hold it the whole time. Okay. Like, nice. You got the three pronged. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. So apparently um, you're not supposed to. Sorry, I mean to interrupt, but you, apparently you're supposed to open it from the other end. Like that's why? how monkeys open it from the other end. I don't know, but humans oh, open it from the top. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense opening it from the bottom. I think yeah, the monkeys got it messed eat up. Upside. Monkeys are a little. Yeah, like you know. I, we'd like to think we're smarter than the yeah, monkeys. Yeah, I would hope so. So let's start from the beginning. Okay. You grew up in Miami fully. I, yeah. And there now go, you're in New York full time. Yeah, uh, I lived in LA for eleven years though. So oh, wow, I left when I was twenty. Um, 
every time I go home, I'm like, I used to run these streets. My mom's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I was doing blow at this club. Oh, ecstasy lit. At this club. You're in like booty, booby trap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she was like, Carla, I don't want to hear this. And I was like, what? Yeah. And she's like, you left when you were 20. Like the fact that you were doing blow before you were even allowed to drink is wild. Did you go to college out in LA or go to school out there? What were you doing? I, I was acting. Okay. No, I did do a couple of things. I, I actually moved out. Oh, fuck this stupid. If you want, we could take a little uh, break. You no, can take I'll a couple bites of the I'm banana. Done. I'm yeah, not yeah, shaky. Please. Like please, if I right. do stutter, I'm not nervous. You guys, I had and a also, fucking And the thing is, and it's you, like, you potentially might stutter more if you eat and then try and talk. Because then your body's like focusing on eating and then thinking. Things. Digesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now exactly. it just has the caffeine. We're good, yes, baby. Yes, you're a gooch. Um, caffeine, Miami. Moving to L.A. LA acted okay so I initially moved there I was dancing professionally okay not stripping um I was dancing for like Pitbull Mark Anthony not like music videos uh yeah and live like live performances okay premios juventud nice um Spanish in you so yeah I want to tell it yeah exactly well the Miami there's like right right I see buenvenidos yeah, a Miami see, so my yeah. dad lives down there that's why he was at he was at that. Oh uh, yeah, show. I was wondering. Yes. Are you are you from South? Florida? No, my dad is down there for the winter for the most part. But I grew okay. up here in Manhattan. I like that he's there for the winter. Yeah, so he's down um, there eh, like four or five months. Usually. I'm surprised he's in Miami because normally old people. I'm assuming you're. I'm well, he's like, older. He looks older. young at for his yeah, age. Yeah, we're not and judging your young, dad. Absolutely. Is he single? Is he a single bachelor? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I just, and I re-looked at Uriah. Like, I re-looked at Uriah oh today and you're like interested and said, you're hot, dad. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh, that was a good bit. Oh, yeah. And I'm funny. like, is he single? That was funny. That's yes. Fun. No, we'll yes. do a pop-up But you're too young picture. for him, to be honest. But, yeah, we're going to pop him up right now. No, I know. You're too young, which is nice to say. You know what I mean? Like how I many mean, good looking sing, single older men would be like, oh, I need a 25 year old. Like I'd be like, dad, what are we going for the same yeah. girls? That's like well, a little too much. 33 is a decade older than 25. But I appreciate you throwing me into the Gen Z category. Well, he, I believe he's probably looking for women who are 40s and 50s. Yeah. 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 I'm almost 40. <laughs> no, you're Gotta not. Have a baby no, you're soon. not. I keep like thinking about this. Oh, yeah. You would like to have a baby? I'm, I don't have, I can, I'm not in, it's, I can't right in the, now. In the scheme of things. Yeah, I need, like a, to, well, I need to freeze my eggs is okay. what needs to happen. Is there like a certain point where women get to that they need to start thinking about freezing their? Yeah, the guy know, the guy know was even like, what are you going to do? My brother says I have till 40. He's like, women are now having kids perfectly fine but i'm like has he seen it in his day-to-day -day, though like more older i think he's just 40s saying 40s women shit okay. i mean his my sister-in-law was 33 and 35 or 6 oh, but, but that's you're, still you're, like, you're starting to see more women i feel like have babies in their late 30s early 40s saying, right but yeah that's what he was saying but i want i want the good eggs i don't want the delinquent children you know like the we later like, it poorly yeah. behaved. Yeah. I don't want the kids that are like me. I want the, like the, yeah, like the fresh starting the food fights and lunch. Yeah. And shit. Yeah. Like I put the shower <laughs> in science class. All right. Like, yeah. I and you were a little bit kid. of a bully, but you also got bullied. I wasn't, I wasn't. Okay. You weren't a bully or you I didn't get I wasn't a bullied? bully. I just, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think that middle school and high school are just complicated. Okay. Let's talk about it. I think they're that. hard for everybody. Look, Middle school, sixth, seventh grade, I was very dorky. I didn't know how to like how to socialize. I swear to God, You're dorky. What'd you wear? I had like, a glasses. Boy, I had a boyfriend, and I wouldn't like talk in seventh grade, and I wouldn't like approach. Like we wouldn't even talk. You like, just I would, flirt on AIM. And stuff. I would, yeah, and I would see him, and I would like bolt the other direction. I think like that was that. normal though. I Is feel it? like I, I okay. feel like I had a girlfriend like that, and we slow yeah, danced we one like, time, yeah. and we like freaked out, yeah, and I broke no, up with her three weeks later. She was so pissed. I couldn't do, yeah. He's the reason I broke up with it. Yeah, I don't remember how we oh broke up. Oh my gosh, this, this is so Definitely. bad. But I, there was this girl in class that she was, everybody wanted her and she had a crush yeah. on me and nobody believed me. And then finally one night on AIM, we were talking about it. She was like, I really have a crush on you. I printed out the AIM conversation and showed all my boys. That was like the worst yeah. thing I've ever done. Well, yeah, worst I was thing I've ever done. It's all relative. At that point, I like think Like it's so. a sex video. Yeah, literally. I was like, bro, I'm look. Like, yeah. like Jocelyn 8592. Like, so she has a crush on me. Tech. Yeah. So sweet. But um, yeah, ever since then, it's it's been going a little bit yeah. better. But what was it, you were, what part of Miami did you grow up in? County uh, of Dade. 
What kind of neighborhood the heat, is that baby. Like? Oh, Miami sorry. Heat. Sorry, Let's I'm go. Sorry, game I'm seven. I we know, saw I it last oh night. My God. I didn't stay up late enough. Though. I was so tired. First of all, game six. It really. Did you see game six? It was. It, it was a buzzer beater. Jalen Brown. Am I allowed to curse? Yeah. Okay. Well, you already did. Well, but well, we could have bleeped it. it. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what yes, I'm saying. I'll fix from this point forward. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're like good. I have nephews, I know how to act. <laughs> um, well, no, the little one. We were laughing the other day because we got him. Me and my brother were like, "Say oh shit!" And he goes, "We're like oh shit!" And he goes, "Uh, shit!" Like oh, he's just he's cute. like two. I was Put dying it on TikTok. laughing. So cute. <laughs> uh, the game six was the last two minutes, mostly ten seconds, were ag- like aggressively. F- fucking with my emotions but we made it to game seven so yeah I now mean, you guys through are game in the seven, finals it's gonna be a tough finals yeah you got the nuggets en- are gonna enormous what did they only lost? Jokey. i know That's they only lost three games. games all season right what do you mean all season in the playoffs just i thought they've only lost no no no. that'd be insane if they lost that's only what i'm saying three games that's what I'm in like, 82 games that'd be insane no it's they had they that well, yeah but like the best record ever I'm was like, like the warriors like, turning from like going from such shit to being like yeah this is their first time in the finals right uh maybe recently and i don't like, know pop so, it up right here i don't know, Ted Jones, I don't know we'll the see. fucking basketball i just love the heat you yeah. guys i don't know everything did you so growing up in miami though did you have a lot of people who are still there or do people like kind of go to different parts of florida oh yeah we never said what my oldest my oldest brother is in texas he's in austin he works worked for alienware works for amd now so alienware that's, that's how i get all my gaming shit. oh my gosh i know another misunderstanding i thought you meant yeah. legit ufos and aliens mm. but yes you're a twitch streamer that's as well cool. that's that cool would be too, cool though. i believe in it i mean if you don't you have to by now what are you a fucking yeah what are you an alien yourself yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that is saying, a good one. I was going to go but, yeah. weird. I was going to say, what are you, living in middle America and drinking? <laughs> they definitely, Budweiser but I feel like they probably it. see aliens the most. They do, for you know sure. I mean? And those they're like, like flatlands and shit. Yeah. What's uh, streaming been like on Twitch? What I haven't been on. Like? I'm going to be honest. I keep getting people to follow me. I haven't been on. I got a few, though. Um, I'm going to start being consistent about it. I apologize. There's always something, though. Like, I'm good with the gaming. I've been gaming since the 90s, baby. What's your favorite game? uh currently mm-hmm. or just of all time maybe of all time either way ocarina of time of all like is my all-time favorite just changed my life and then call of duty is like i'm the most consistent oh with. wow yeah what's the breakdown with how many female players play call of duty are there a lot i wouldn't say there's a lot but uh there's there's a good amount of women gamers now i think that aren't just like trying to you know cosplay on twitch i feel like there's a good amount are you excited for uh, gta like 6 the, yeah i mean five was like i mean a class i started playing that in eighth grade yeah and it's it's the best gta of all time yeah because it was a wasn't it the first open world gta i don't know i think so who cares but gaming <sighs> Comedy, what were you gonna say? I don't know. Gaming comedy brothers <laughs> a chameleon. Yes, a chameleon. Stand up LA. Let's talk about it. Which one? Either one. How about let's talk stand up and then LA. Okay. Did you start stand up in LA? I Is that started you... stand up in LA. Okay. Oh yeah, so I was dancing, I was dabbling in acting. Started stand up in 2013, actually, so 10 years ago. But Beautiful. I don't tell, I don't like to say that. I just say I've been doing it a few years. Okay. A couple of years. So I did it for four years, stopped for four years. Started again two plus, like three years ago. Was there like a specific group of people that got did you into stand up? Right? Fix the math. Kind of. That was like eight years. Eight, nine, ten. Ish. So yeah, 10 years. Yeah. But it was. Two. Four on, four off, two. So two, yeah, I've been doing it for two. Again. Was it a group of people that like got you into it initially? Like you saw a, a set or something? And Okay, so I, I'd i always done improv. I was scared to get it. Like even for a mic, I'm like, what the fuck do I? And I'd done it in my house. Like the funny stories, you know, I'd said them out loud to people. They laughed, but I'm like, there's a big jump from like. The biggest saying you know being a goofy family a, member everyone's the goofy family member of who course. could tell the t- the table the joke and you're the star there but when you step on stage you're like you know the bottom of the litter which is i mean moving to new york was great like it everything i learned in la in four years i would say like i rewent through in probably six months how do you mean 
there's just not as much stage time. Like I didn't get to hosting until like two years in. I didn't get to like starting to want to produce a show till three years. Like everything was just kind of a slower process. We're out here. Everything's happening so fast. And people are like, I have a show. Do you want to, or like, just you're seeing it all happening. You're like, okay, this is what I have to do. This is what like, as much as people say, we're like a chicken with our head cut off. There's no direction. It's like, I feel like New York gives you the most direction, you know? It kind of throws you in the fire where you're doing oh, everything. Sorry, this is the door not. Oh, no, it's a garbage pit this way. So I think the super is doing the garbage, doing like the garbage right like here. The way I'm doing on this podcast <laughs> right now. No, no, no. Um, but I think you mentioned the slowness of other cities compared yeah. to New York. Yeah. And I would say that Miami and LA are probably right behind New York in terms of pace, but New York is just on a whole, a whole nother level yeah. of how fast everything moves, you know? Yeah. Even uh, talking about Brittany Brave, she was like, I moved back and she's like, I feel like, I feel like my crowd work is like off. Move back to Miami. Yeah. Or yeah. Uh, and she's like, I feel like my crowd work is, you know, off the charts, but I feel like my joke writing has gotten worse and i'm like that's kind of muscle memory like you know how to write jokes you know what i mean just keep writing them but like not that i was giving her advice you know i was it was just a conversation that like tate was there it was like just i feel like austin is good right now too but yeah, yeah nothing nothing is like new york like the mics in la i would have to drive oh my god you're driving 45 minutes just to get like a kind of bar show mic which is i mean better than what they had 10 years ago when I started, but still a pain in the ass. Uh, and I feel like LA could do better for as many people and venues that are out there. You know what I mean? Well, do you feel like and that's, be do you feel sure. like that's because the people who are trying to do comedy in LA aren't also like mainly focused on comedy They're They have other avenues that they're working on as opposed to in New York, New York, it's every comedy club for the most part. It's like, 95 percent yeah 95 percent stand-up comics yeah i think it's a mixture of that and just the pace in la in general i think everything there is so much slower i mean it's like it's so it's slow. everything oh you think it's yeah. like you know i'm a pothead I'm, I'm open to you know i'm like i condone marijuana on all levels but yeah it's just that's what it is it's like pretty girls weed perfect weather it's like what do you what do you need to rush for? You know, out here it's like you get out and you like feel like this like zap of fucking energy when you walk out the totally. door and you're oh like, my gosh, yeah. oh my god, I have like two Celsius a day out here. You yeah. know what I mean? Where I'm like, I gotta keep going. And then I I do force myself to take breaks. So you have to like it's it's hard, but I'm like you have to relax. So I'll take one day and I'm like you have to or like go on a date with myself somewhere. Nice. Like, what do you do? Uh, I'll go to the park and read. Okay. Or like, I, I love eating by my. I'm like a big. I love food more than I mean anything. But it's better than sex. I love. But, but you would like sweet food. green and eat alone, or you're like at Eleven Madison Park and get in the tasting menu. By yourself, like I or both. Like I'll treat myself sometimes. Yeah. I'm like I'm depressed or I've had a hard week or like I got past here. Then I'm like I'm gonna have a nice like sushi at fucking Mamoya in yeah. Soho. Like, oh, that nice. Like I'm like by my, yeah, yeah, or Chelsea. Yeah, I exactly. think everybody needs to do that. Yeah. Give themselves a little bit of a break. I or went a to movie. a, I went to a movie yeah. for the first time by myself in maybe ever, but I, it was, it was amazing. I saw the air movie. You heard of this? Michael Jordan. I was, it I was started great. it. Today, oh, you started yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. The seats, the seats in the movie theater were gross. And I yeah. think that was just because like AMC is struggling. But yeah. besides that, it seemed like a, <laughs> yeah. it was a good experience. I was happy that I did it alone. So is Re Regal's, Regal's better than AMC? I or are know. they both going well, to? Do you remember that situation where AMC shot to the moon because of Wall Street bets and those Redditors? Yes. So I thought that AMC got a huge influx of cash from that. Yeah. But I don't know where the cash went. Because there were not like a lot of people on duty. There was popcorn out, slushies, like, Diet and Cokes from the <laughs> movie before. I was like, what the shit's going on? Nobody's there was, clean. Yeah, yeah, there was farts in the seat. Nobody's and that was before so, I got yeah. there. You know, like so it was ridiculous. All crop dusted. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. It was a great movie. Um, yeah, I started, so well, I it's at home, you know, it's on, yeah, now it's on, now it's on Amazon. Did oh, you it's at Amazon, Amazon. Yeah, did sorry. you see jury duty? See in Amazon? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, my friend Trisha is the redheaded. No way. Lawyer. She's yeah. She's wait. She's like the, one of the main characters. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. That. Oh wow. So first of all, great. I watched like, I put it on 
And it was one of those things I was going to like do things around the house while watching it. I hate to say that the first 10 minutes of it is so slow that I forced myself to like watch yeah. it through. I was because I turned it off the first time. Okay. In the first five minutes. And then I gave it like 10 minutes and I was hooked. I didn't know. I got hooked, but I didn't know that he was an act or he was oblivious. The whole time. So I watched <laughs> this entire series thinking they were all actors. The last episode, they're showing all the hidden cameras. I'm like, what the fuck? So I rewatch so you it. You need to watch like no, no, the first no, ten I minutes, even though how slow it, and slow it's it is. <laughs> so much funnier. Yeah, like when you see their reactions in the back and they're dying laughing. Yeah, I, I had some moments where I was crying. Oh my god! Laughing. Yeah, the I forget his name. The redhead. He's great. Um, with the pants. The, the guy redhead. He comes in with his new outfit. Yeah, the guy redhead. Oh, oh, the, the, oh, the guy with like the, when he has ch uh, chance chair pants yes. and he's like these are my chair pants yes, he's and he like phenomenal. tries to wear them in the room he's they're great. all great the James yeah, Madsen was good yeah, like James, the actor he's so, he's so funny I love he, when he's fangirling over the he's like yeah no he's like helping him with the seat he just like was like yeah yeah, I saw yeah. Your he's movie. helping him with the side movie stuff. last night it was great and he's then like, he like so took, he took that I don't we don't need to give too many spoilers but like Sorry. he took oh, the yeah, heat for him that was like uh that was like he took a shit and he was like yeah it wasn't me Sweet. Yeah, he's a sweetheart. He's, so he's sweet. great. So now he's getting like a lot of other gigs. I'm seeing like commercial so wise. Funny. So I wonder what's ne what's next for him for in his career. <laughs> you know, he got Truman Show. Yeah. But I think that would be so trippy to be that guy. That's... And just for two weeks, every single person around you, hundred That's like a so hundred people around you are fucking with you. That's so And if you hysterical. think about it, like, I could see like that could have happened to anyone. You respond 100. to a Craigslist ad. You're locked up for two weeks. Things become a little bit weird, but maybe to the point where you still believe it. Yeah, I mean, you're in. That's the you're world in a legit. These days. Yeah, you're in a legit courtroom. You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean, like it's not. You're going through security every the day. Judge is like, professional. Taking yeah. your, you know, yeah. I'm sure there was a ton of paperwork going Definitely. into it. Like, Definitely. That's hysterical. Yeah, it was great. I think you know, going back to what you were saying, just about the pace of things. Well, I guess jury duty. You know, like if things got too weird, they had to sit in the courtroom for six hours. But being in a place like New York, like as soon as you walk onto to the street, you feel that burst of energy. But I think it's also has to do with the weather and yeah. how it really is ever changing each day and how in LA you could potentially get comfortable with how nice it is and you get distracted by the birds chirping and the parks and then in Miami you obviously get distracted by the beach i think that's I the thought reason. you were going to say the women the beaches beach and beaches yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like that's that's also a reason that's Sad like too. there's not a lot of comedy clubs i think because yeah. people would just rather go to the beach all day and then experience some sort of nightlife do you think that miami has a pocket for comedy or like do you just think it's going to be beach and nightlife for the for the future it's like austin is really on fire Austin's and that's been like fire. the last five years I, I know i hate to say beach and nightlife but that's just it's what Miami is and I think that like you know Miami comedy isn't a great job of having a show at least every night and then uh you have both improvs now I don't know why they moved it from the Grove to Dania um because I feel like maybe that you know like you were saying Miami just doesn't have that market where it right. is just partying and, probably and then like it's a little bit slower the Palm Beach, right yeah that's where the Dania one is yeah a little of? bit further okay. south um north sorry north, north. uh <laughs> I swear I'm not dumb. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, the improv is great. And then don't tell South Florida now. They have a lot of like, I think there's like three of them. Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and whatever. Um, and those are great shows. But like, I think if you're going to the improv and to don't tell, you're, you're going for a comedy. Yeah. Whereas all the other shows happen to be in a bar, the SLS, and it's like you're going for a good time. You know, you're not, which is what comedy is, but right. your attention span might not be as. Sure. And I think we're all losing yeah. our attention span just because of like the apps and shit. If something's not funny yeah. within like, like I said, jury duty, if it's yeah. not funny within like the first 10 minutes, right. we're switching it. Yeah. You know what I mean? What were some of the things that you did growing up in Miami that would maybe diff be different from all around the country, given the weather, or maybe you'd be going at 11 when you were 16 years old doing naughty okay. things like that. I think uh, yeah, 11. Well, yeah, okay, so my. Oh. <laughs> to put it like all in one. Okay, so my brothers were a decade older than me. So I yeah. had like. Why is that? You guys have the same mom? Yeah, dad? same parent. Yeah, okay. there was uh, there was a miscarriage in between me and my middle. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. I mean, it's okay. 
Right. I think my sister her. ate my other sister. Oh, did she? Yeah, I've heard of that womb. before. They were twins, twins and I she knew just it. ate her. It's yeah, they him. do that. It's fucked up. I, I want to meet your sister. She's probably Yeah, cool. oh my God, she's feisty too. She's probably cool. She would eat her yeah. other sister. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, so they were older. So they were like really good about trying to show me things. So my first concert when I was eight years old, they were like, where do you want to go? I was like... I want to go to a corn concert. A corn concert? <laughs> so I'm eight years old. For those of you who don't know, heavy metal? <laughs> yeah. Can you can you refer to them as that? Is heavy, that what it is? Yeah, like crazy. Okay, I remember, so. And they spelled their name with a backwards with K. A, no, backwards R. I used to like carve it into my du- nine inch okay. nails. <laughs> I like the backwards N. Oh, yeah, yeah, N I N. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and I went to Warp Tour also when I was eight. I remember walking. Okay, so it's like the van, whatever. It was like Rage Against the Machine. Oh Eminem. my gosh. Oh, was, I loved him. He like wasn't allowed Eish. to curse in Fort Lauderdale. And he did anyway. He was like, Badass. he was like, F you guys. I'm trying to keep it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F yeah. you guys. I don't give a F with these cops. Two minutes later, the cops like drag him oh man off the stage it was great i saw um, a vid- just to quickly interrupt i saw a video like that i think kodak black was in florida and like the troopers came on stage trying to take his mic and for he was like, curse it. it's like so ridiculous yeah. but so that yeah i was at concert i mean doing for jumping off you know no like at the beach you would there was a like br- like like the, the lifeguard the, stand you were jumping no, off? Not live, <laughs> no like at the end of the oh my god what's it called I don't know. The just, ocean. Yeah, the tall, whatever. I'm over it. Jet skis. My dad owned a marine repair shop, so I was oh, on the water go. all the time. Nice. I was like True Miami. 10 riding jet skis. Okay. Cool shit. Uh, what else? Miami, there was no snow, so we would go skiing once a year, snowboarding. What that was the first fun. time? Oh, so you saw so snow for the first time in your life when you like went to Colorado mm-hmm. or something like that? Yeah. I skydived. I don't anymore. I think that's kind of cool. That was my middle brother is doing. Uh, he had like 15,000 jumps. He doesn't jump anymore. Yeah, but he was like an instructor. He did tandem. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I... Actually, when I was 16, someone that owned a drop zone, that's what they call them. Yeah. Someone that owned a drop zone was like, she can jump if she wants to, to like, early. And my brother was like, if you want to jump, you can... By yourself? Well, like, with him attached to me. And I was like, no, it's okay. I was so scared. I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just wait till I'm 18 and it's legal. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Being like, a if good I girl die, mom will be so mad at yeah, you. Yeah, she'd be pissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he ever, like, break a leg doing it? No. Did anyone that no. he knew, like, I jumping out of the... He got, like, a hernia once, maybe. Oh, like, okay, probably because it was too heavy. No, he would swoop. Fat. So he would, like, do the thing where you come down super... Like, people can, you know, smash into the ground. Yeah. If they're too close. So he would come in and go really fast. And I think he, like, hit the water or something one time. And okay. Like, you know when you're going but did he know anyone who like had any tragic my hair stuck under my deaths uh yeah yep. <laughs> he did from the celsius yeah from the same from swooping oh uh God. yeah uh this guy eli from base jumping he was like always setting the limit for base jumpers and you know well what would the limit be what do you mean um a closer and closer to a cliff or getting oh, you know man. going through the rocks like getting lower and lower so oh that, i've like, seen those videos yeah. before like red bull and yeah, shit yeah exactly he was a red bull. exactly yeah is it just the, the thrill that he would get from doing it yeah, like it's the I same think, as stand up yeah exactly <laughs> but i think once you uh get to a certain point you get numb to the adrenaline so you keep doing more and more, more and more yeah it's like smoking and weed it's, your tolerance well and you want to get better at, there's like always f- like somewhere further you can go with it so it's like once you learn how to fly on your belly then you learn how to sit fly then you're flying head down then you're doing oh free flying and tricks and then you're doing swooping and opening your parachute lower to the ground and then you're base jumping which is like you know jumping off the cliff and pulling it. so it's like every yeah, you kind of just get wow used to it, learn, and it's more of like, okay, what's next? It's like now adrenaline junkie. You just keep going further and further into yeah. it. Yeah. Did you have any friends or know of anybody that got involved in the wrong things at a younger age being in Miami, being like influenced by, Me? I don't know, powerful people like a, somebody like a so Jeffrey Epstein? I, don't I know. was going to say the... Middle so I remember school, maybe I heard a couple girls from Fort like Lauderdale. Kendall. Dude, yeah. One of the, I, th- so someone I knew went to the middle school around the same time that he was recruiting the, the girls. So Did I'm he like, recruit from girls like in the Palm Beach area? Though? Yes. And was that close enough to Kendall? Yeah. Well, Miami. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. He had scouts. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Just so casual. 
Go ahead. Um, Terrible. No, what's funny is I I just got comfortable saying this, and I want to reach this is even more toxic. The girl Rhiannon was the first person I ever hooked up with. Right, we were like ten years old. Who's Rhiannon? Sorry, there's a gnat. Yeah, Rhiannon was the girl that was at the same. Why am I crying? Was at the same high, uh, middle school that Epstein was recruiting. So we, we were like, uh huh. We hooked up when I was like 10 years old and I still to this day, day, like, I don't know who initiated it. So I'm like, was it her? Was she getting fondled by Epstein and then coming and fondled? But she was 10. Everyone I ask is like, Carla, I think you initiated it. I don't. <laughs> but how do you know that this girl was, you know that she was recruited? It's like, no. No, I don't was. know. I don't know. I don't think she was. I don't, I don't think she was. I'm just saying she was at the same high school at the same time. As other the, girls. Yeah, as the other girls that I know for sure were on the island, yeah. Um, Do you know of any stories I love how from you the island? over me hooking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make you feel normal. But you, wait, you were two 10-year-old girls having just like figure, lesbian making it yeah. out? Making out? Yeah, we were like, ooh. No, no, we were touching each other. <laughs> At 10? Damn. Lesbian girls go quick. I think you're just curious. Cool. I think, no, I've heard of people like showing cousins like... I've heard of stories. I think kids are curious. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll move on from it. No, no, no. We can't. I just, I've heard too. of that. I but just I've don't never want, been I don't a... want to influence like other 10 year olds. <laughs> yeah. 10 year olds to make to out with it. their friends. Sure. No, really. Don't do that. It was a weird thing. I still need to figure it out. Like I got a message for Rhiannon and be like, what happened? Can you? On Facebook. Isn't yeah. It? Everyone's on Facebook. I'm going right. to do it. My, my Someone was like, you probably shouldn't. And I'm like, why not? Just to figure it out. Yeah. Just to like. Because I've heard of guys like you know jerking e jerking each other's wieners see? you know to but they're see, not like, gay yeah. yeah are they i don't know it depends how many times you do well, that yeah, I am think i a lesbian well no limit. someone said to me i'm only a lesbian if i hooked up with them after 16 and i didn't so by so, that point you can only make a up decision. until like 12 there when i say them there was two. Oh, and not at the same time not 10 no the other one was like 12 all right Every two years. Liana. I danced with her. Liana. I had a duet with her. I love how I'm calling. All yeah. What are these names? I'm too, calling by the way. Miami. Uh, Liana. Yeah. What's I'm up also that? calling these people out for yeah. the first well, time. They don't have last name. Oh, yeah. Call them out. Let them yeah. Know. Should I clip this? And be like, <laughs> yeah. Tag Listen. Them. How's listen up? Uh, young lesbians out there. <laughs> this is for you. Miami stories. Any weird ones? Okay. Oh, so yeah. We were talking about drugs. You want the drug yeah, story? Yeah, yeah, Bring it on. Okay. The first time I did ecstasy. Was it, was it like ultra? It wasn't ultra. It was actually just at a house party. And this is horrible. I was in eighth grade. My friend was in ninth grade. We were hanging with the seniors. Okay. I don't know what. We took smileys. You remember how they had names? Like, I don't know if you know this. You don't do drugs at all or do you? No, I did. I, I've done ex I did ecstasy. You did? Yet, uh, do you smoke marijuana? Yeah. You couldn't okay. smell it when you walked in? No, no, uh, no. I'm just, talking about. You just yes, carry yourself very I clean. I appreciate that. Yes, I smoke. Uh, like, I look marijuana. like I smoke weed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. I carry myself. I don't really. I don't really drink that much. Like, weed is my thing. Don't zoom in on my nails. Okay. okay? Why? You haven't gotten a pedicure? I mean, a, I just, what's it called? A manicure recently? Yeah, I've been boxing. No, they look good. I've been boxing. You're so boxing? I just, like, cut them on my own because they were going to break. Yeah. Let's go back to uh, My brother, he was, I went <laughs> home and he's like, car, he has no idea I've been boxing. And he goes, I'm in the pool. He goes, you look wide. I was like, thanks, Chris. He's like, yeah, <laughs> you're arms. Are like lats? No. Like, he's like, like slapping my shoulder. No, I think you look good. He's like, your arms are thick. <laughs> yeah. This is what I have to deal with. My mom, my brothers. They're such Keeping assholes. Keeping you in line. Anyway, <laughs> cocaine. Oh, drugs. So I do ecstasy. I'm in eighth grade. I make a promise with my friend Candace calling people out. Uh, we can tag her too. She has a mill on Insta. Okay, so, Can <laughs> so Candace, we agree. We're like, if you take it, I take it. I take it. So she takes it. And I'm like, fuck, I didn't think she was going to take it. I can't it. believe you took a full one. I mean, obviously you didn't right. know anything, but like taking a full one of those is probably no. insane. Wait, just you fucking wait. I take the ecstasy we take with orange juice. We're at this house party and, and, and feeling good. <laughs> I'm paranoid already. I'm drinking a ton of water because I'm like, my insides are going to melt, right? 
Anywhere at 13 or 14 at the start. Sure, yeah, exactly. And they're like, the cops are coming because they want everyone to leave. So the cops are coming. Yeah. I remember my friend, there was like a bunch of white shoes by the, she grabbed all the white shoes because she didn't know. Like we're, <laughs> we're now bad tripping. Like our eyes are popping out of our, our head. Like the cops are coming. We all stuff in this car. I'm sitting on someone's lap. She's like, it's like seven of us in a car. The person driving is rolling. And I'm like, are you okay? Are you okay? And he's going like 30 miles per hour, but he's in he's the a lane. Senior, high school senior. Senior. I'm like, he's pro. I'm like, yeah. I feel. Like just, 10 and two, 10 and two. So he's just <laughs> and he's just going, everybody has their seatbelts on. We get it to, I think we're at, I'm just going to keep dropping weird names. I Let's think we're either at like Ariel or Elon's Walter's house, house. Walter's house. Walter probably. <laughs> and we get out of the car mind you i have a crush on this senior's lap i'm sitting on which probably shouldn't have been you were sitting. sitting on a senior's lap i was sitting on a senior's girl lap. here's the lesson you want to shout out his name no ariel get i had a crush his name was ariel yeah oh he probably would get arrested at the time we never <laughs> <laughs> he might that's kissed. a girl's name ariel did we kiss I remember when I was a senior, was I was like memorable. hooking up with a couple freshmen for a moment, but I was 17. They were 14. Oh, whatever. Which dude. is legal. So it's, it's when you're in your twenties and teens, that just starts to get weird, you know? Yeah. 17, 14, High not school, so great. Right? But yeah, that's not great. Whatever. whatever. Jinx. <laughs> we'll move past. Yeah. Uh, Float past that part. So we get out of the car. Yes. How many people were in the car that you were sitting like on his seven, lap? One, two, three, four, five, oh, six, shit. seven. Oh, shit. Everyone's seven. rolling. Nobody's Everyone's, wearing seatbelts. We're all like, he's going the speed limit like, out. Like, on each other. And we're they're all like touching sweating, each other. Like, feeling <laughs> yeah, good, yeah, yeah, making yeah. sure he's going 10 miles per hour or whatever. We got out of the car. Walter looks at Ariel's lap and he's like, dude, you spilled some Hawaiian punch on your lap. Walter looks at Ariel's lap. And says, oh, no. And I look and I go, my eyes, like, I. I can't express, I've never felt this terror in my life ever. This is the worst I've ever felt in my life as far as embarrassment. And I look, cause I'm bad. Like it's drugs amplify your emotions, people. And so I look and your period and I look <laughs> and I go, that's not Hawaiian punch. And everyone just starts to like, was there Hawaiian bit, punch at the party though? No, there was never Hawaiian punch. I don't know where the fuck. They were just like rolling so hard. He's like, the only well, thing that would make sense in this situation is there's Hawaiian punch, punch in your lap. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's fruit punch yeah, Gatorade. There's something. Yeah. And I Kool-Aid. go, and I just say, that's not Hawaiian punch. Yeah. They're like, we got to get inside. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm into a panic. They're all like, it's okay. It's okay. And I'm like, I'm not feeling okay. So this name is probably the best of all the names. Jizz. It's her nickname. So Jizz. What's comes her name? From, Giselle? I don't know her real name. <laughs> I think it was like more of a sluttier nickname. Mm-hmm. Um, she's this really heavy set lesbian who helps me change my tampon in the bathroom. Um, but she, so she gives me a tampon. Sh- should I go all the way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. Helps you change your tampon. You were just well, like, like out of it. Yeah. I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like my fucking, I feel like this. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like everything is closed in. I'm like, my heart is racing. It's like a panic attack. It's like recurring panic attacks with like, you're like, you're good. You're good. You're giggling. The panic attack. Yeah. No, no, no. It was just all panic attack. So I put accidentally put two tampons in. (laughs) So now I'm panicking even more because I just see two strings and I'm like, you know, I haven't had my period this long at this point. Yeah. I'm just going to ask. This is like your first period. It wasn't my first. That would be more acceptable. This was, I mean, I had it for a year or two at this mm-hmm. point. A year. <sighs> and I fixed it. And then jizz. <laughs> Whatever I like cleaned up, they gave me pants, but she threw my pants in the corner of the bathroom. So someone found them later. It was just one bad thing after another. And someone was like, Carla left her fucking I just, it was all bad. It was all bad. To be honest, I think it was best though you were in eighth grade at that time. Because then the rest of the high school would have heard about it, you know, the next Monday. Yeah. So it was good you were in eighth grade yeah. and then those seniors graduated. Well, I was going into ninth grade. Oh, so summer going so into ninth grade. So those juniors were going in. Yeah. Oh, seniors. Oh. Yeah. So okay. we were going to be in school. They were still cool though. They were like pro They've druggies. Seen it before. Like they were the druggies of high school. So they were like, yeah. Any other well, crazy stories like that? 
Oh, oh, okay. Those um, are partying stories. Miami partying stories as a youngin. I've seen 13, someone 14. at space get dra- dead, dragged out on a chair and left. What time was that at? For those of you who don't know, space is a 24 hour nightclub, yeah. correct? Yeah, it's trash. But it's fun to experience at least like. Well, what do you mean? What's a, the fun part to experience? Waking up at 5 a.m. and going at 7 a.m. and like when drinking? You're young, when you're young, the nonstop in Miami, you get to go from like a club that closes at 3 or 4 a.m. to after hours, 6, yeah. 7 a.m. And then the beach is beautiful and they're all on or near the beach. So then you just go straight to the beach. You have a whole day. Like this is when you're young. I can't even yeah. leave my house now mm-hmm. to talk to people. Like, I have a hard time. They're like, you got a network for comedy. I'm like, no. In Miami? No, here. Here, yeah. New York. They're like, where have you been? And I'm like, home? <laughs> I do my show. I go home. Like, I just. New York's a big like, I'm face not to doing face place. I'm not doing it. Well, enough people know you, though. I'm happy. What do you mean? So you, that means, like, not seeing people? I mean, I'll see people, like, if I feel like it. You like being alone? I love being alone. Too, I realize like too much so though you think you say I you think realize? I think too much so a hundred and fifty percent my mom is like I'm worried that you picked this was like years ago but she's like I'm worried that you picked such a lonely career when you're already such a lonely person because that's like not a good place to be and I realize like even though I have two siblings and we were like a close really close family they were still eight and 10 years older than me for a long time. So till I was in like, well, still are. Yeah, but. still are. But no, yeah. <laughs> you mean like age gap was weird. Eight yeah. to 10 years. I feel like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it wasn't until my teens, twenties where I was like able to have a normal conversation yeah, and be yeah, on yeah. the same page right? or they could talk to me about weed and feel okay about, you know, but yeah, I was kind of like by myself a lot. So I feel comfortable in that. I'm, I'm an introvert extrovert. Like, I I'll talk to a big group of people when I need to, but one on one, I'm like, unless you're comfortable, unless I'm comfortable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Were your brothers super protective over you though? Being at that age, like, do they pick you up from school? Um, they would pick me up. Yeah. My, you know, if my parents work late or I would get a ride, it was kind of like all over the place. Um, but I didn't take the bus. So that was cool. I feel like that's less of a thing in Miami, though. It's more New York. You take the bus. Yeah. Obviously. What's been your favorite part of New York since... When did you move here? Uh, Last January. Wow. What's been your favorite part? Ooh. That's crazy. And you've never spent any other time in New York previously? I... Or you come here for like weeks at a time? I would come for like weeks at a time. I came for like a month once when I was still doing comedy um, in LA and Mm -hmm. just, you know, did it. I would come for like... A week visit if someone you know was living out here my friend julius i would come you know he's on broadway come see a show nice. you, you know little visits but what's been your favorite my part? favorite part oh, fuck. or a favorite part i gotta be honest I, I i just now started exploring because it was like straight comedy when i got here and i realized i got burnt out because i was not doing anything i hadn't been to central park in a year of living here like um to answer your question i think the everyone like this it's the sense of community i feel like everyone is kind of alone but not (laughs) no it feels like i'm like am i just stoned right now (laughs) everybody no everybody says like new york feels it feels like a place where you can be alone around millions of people. And you just yeah. feel like you're so alone in a place where everybody's moving at a thousand yeah. miles an hour. Like I trust if a zombie apocalypse happened, <laughs> someone would open the door for me. You know, like if I was like, let me, you know, I think they would let me in. And that's being in New York, you think? Mm-hmm. LA, I think they would drive away. What's the difference in people? between LA and New York so far that you've seen um, especially being in comedy because I don't think I've I don't think I've had somebody on the pod who lived in LA for that long and now has made the full-time transition to New York yeah 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 signed my my second year lease mm-hmm. oh wow nice yeah. insane increase by the way not yet next year they said five percent okay which okay. I found out it's like kind of normal in my building that some units are rent controlled yeah this girl, like, she's like, I moved from one unit to the other. You should ask about it. But don't yeah. say you heard it from me. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. Um, but yeah, 5% next. I had to get 
um a guarantor company mm-hmm. the guarantors oh my god a- insurance i don't know i've heard of the there's guarantors. like three but okay. yeah insurance great what they, are they, they like they front the money they no they basically just vouch for you oh right and you so pay like, a monthly fee and then they pay the security not even monthly yeah just and you give them a one-time oh, fee. Right, 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 right. yeah but they were even saying, I mean, I don't know if this was their pitch, but I believe it. Like this guy who could afford to like buy, not buy, rent it out for a year in advance, pay cash. They were like, we can't do that because your credit is 680. Like no matter what, first of all, it's illegal to do this. Second of all, we can't do that because of your credit. So there's like, they don't leave any wiggle room in New York. Well, it's, who doesn't? What do you mean? apartments like, like a, a landlord you mean a landlord yeah. yeah like it's well just I, just being able to get an apartment i think they've gotten burned so many times yeah. they i mean being Post- a landlord in new york you got to figure out the best way to get every dime considering the rent laws had, have changed mm. recently it might not make sense for a landlord to go in and fix it so it stayed at the rent where the person has lived there for 30 years so there's right. like a lot of ups and downs in the new york rent game i used to work in yeah. real estate so oh, I, know, okay. I know a decent amount yeah, yeah, about yeah. it but um it's it's just been tough for landlords to figure out how to make money with the well, taxes and sh- insurance and shit like that i was gonna say post covid too i'm sure yeah definitely and florida so is way is more owed. business friendly Oh yeah, Way well, more real estate business. Well, and me. everyone moved like during the pandemic. Everyone moved, bought cash. You know, yeah. they were like, "It's three fifty. And everyone in New York was like, "I'll give you four hundred cash." Yeah, they were like, "Okay." Like being on the beach down there, they have See, one they bedroom went. apartments for yeah. like three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, maybe yeah. The New York, San Francisco is more expensive than LA, obviously, but mm-hmm. like. New York, Miami, and LA. I don't know how I survive. But the people, we were the people. <laughs> oh in yeah, the L- people. LA versus New York. Um, from what you noticed. I actually, I, in comedy, I feel like there's no different. I hate to say it, but they're just as snaky. Like, I like the way I said that, snaky. <laughs> no, but I feel like they're, they will step on you to get what they want as they would in LA. But the difference in like people generally, like outside of comedy, I think um, in LA, they're very selfish, like, or just two-faced where they'll be like, Ted, I love those pants. And then they'd and be then, like, did yeah, you see those pants Ted was wearing? They're just so tight. That's like, for, <laughs> that's like from Mean Girls, right? No, they actually Did you see that? I love the, the, what yeah, is that? Exactly. I love that shirt. It's, it's vintage. It's my mom's in the 80s. That is the ugliest they're fucking mean skirt girls. I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. And then in New York, they'll be like, hey, you fucking idiot. Your yeah, backpack's what is open. This? What are you? Oh, yeah. That you know what I mean? Like, they're helping there. you, but they're like, don't be such a fucking dumbass yeah. next time. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's true. Let me not be. I think, yeah, I think New Yorkers get. A little too much shit for being rude. We're not yeah. rude. We're not rude. I, I think we're straight I in. I think so. I agree. Yeah, I fit in well here. Well, I think as so. As far too. as like no bullshit, you know, it feels nice. Mm-hmm. Do you have a nice. favorite moment though? Getting back to that. Favorite moment? Yeah. Maybe comedy wise, life wise. How's your apartment? You like it? You're living alone? I love my apartment. I, yeah, I'm living that's alone. A great thing. I have a roof. Let's that go. might be. That might be the one. Like just being able to go, I want to say my favorite. I remember it when I was staying the first month I was here. I subleased from someone in Soho. It was a, like on Sullivan and Houston. Oh wow! How'd you find that? She was leaving out of town for a month. And you knew her though a, through a mutual friend. Okay, okay. She was like, "Do you want to pay this?" And I was like, "For one month." Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, not? just to experience it for sure. And the first snow was like so beautiful. I woke up at 3 a.m. And I remember just sitting, not on the fire escape, but with the window open, just like staring. That's I'm from so Miami. New York of I, you. And I That's like. Very nice. Yeah. That's cute. That's it was, cute. it was beautiful. It had not been touched, you know, like it was cute. But I remember I was like <laughs> texting people at 3 a.m., like videos of the snow. And I had seen snow fall in Colorado, but there was like. It's was different just, than New York it was snow. Different. Yeah. So you didn't really see any snow this winter, though, right? No, I was so sad. Was there any? Come to think about it, maybe there, there was, was like two, two days. I think there was not even two, that much, right? And one of the two didn't stick. <laughs> I think yeah. one day it stuck and melted almost immediately. Do people ever? So sad. Do people ever ask you about the water levels in Miami? Like, do you live oh, in a yeah. house? Like, what's going to happen to your house in ten oh, years? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's sinking, but so is New York. So I'm like, I want to, I want to see right. who the who, who the, the yeah the race to see. Well, apparently there. I mean, there are proposals every day on 
building walls in Miami and the building walls down by literal Wall Street and Battery Park so City. So the waves in. don't come. <laughs> yeah. I'm I don't like, know it's, gonna it's just going to get lower though. It's not that the waves are coming in. It's that at, at, like the water is actually rising. I think there was also. It'll go over the wall. <laughs> yeah. Like, there was also, yeah, the waves what's will go over the wall. building walls? I literally, <laughs> literally. What the fuck? Everyone and then, wants to build a And then I read a study wall. that uh, Manhattan is sinking because there's so many buildings That's on it. That's what I'm it, saying. Which low key makes sense, dude. There's dude, so I many was, buildings. I'm like, I was looking out the window <laughs> the other day in my Uber and I was like, because they say it rises and sinks like a few I, inches maybe. every day. That might be too much. No, no, no. That's probably too much. Maybe you centimeters so? every month or but something. But I'm like, so I'm looking out the window and I'm like, obviously stoned. I hate to say <laughs> like how dumb I am sometimes, but I'm staring and I'm like trying to like see. I'm like, I wonder if it like waves during the day. Probably. These are the weird. Okay. I probably but the should. buildings, the buildings wave, you know that the we skyscrapers that out, wave. Right? What? That you said, I wonder if Manhattan's sinking and waving. <laughs> no, you sure. I, guess, I don't know. Hopefully we got it out. out. <laughs> no, we're not cutting anything No, we're out. not. We're not. Maybe, eh, maybe some parts. I had to do parts. that one podcast. That was drama. What do you mean? No, we're not talking about it because I'm yeah, not, we're not giving going them to. That kind of yeah, thing. don't give them that. that. You're just giving your positive energy yeah. here, Carla. This has actually been a great episode. Has Thank it? This is, you see wow. how I said that? By the way, this has actually, yeah, actually been a. Yeah, a I'm surprised. Fact. I'm surprised. No, obviously not, Carla. Thanks so much for coming on the podcast. Really appreciate it. Before we get out of here, we're popping up your Instagram right here. Let us know what you've got going on, what you've got coming up, and uh, what time you're going to probably demolish that banana. A little of this, a little of that. I'll be here and there. Follow me on Instagram and you'll see. Where? Tell us. At Carla Watkins. Carla with a K W A T K I N S. Carla, Carla your gosh darn delight. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Peace. <laughs>